Hi, my name is Kelly Lindell. After 20 years as a fitness instructor, I started a home care agency to help seniors stay independent. After working closely with hundreds of folks over 50, I'm back to preaching fitness because I am convinced, and tons of research support my beliefs, that the number one thing you can do to stay healthy as you age is to be active. Face it, we're all aging, but let's not take it sitting down. Come on, join me, let's go get active. Hi, I'm Kelly Lindell, and thank you for joining our show today. When we were in our teens, many people exercised to take part in competitive sports. In our 20s, our motivation to stay fit may have been to look good or catch that handsome husband or beautiful wife. But as we age, fitness takes on a whole new meaning. Are we strong enough to do the activities we enjoy? Do we have energy to dance at our daughter's wedding or spend a day chasing after our grandkids? For many seniors, activities we take for granted, like driving a car or taking a shower, can actually become dangerous or nearly impossible. That's why today's show is called Functional Fitness, being fit enough to function. We'll be doing exercises from this chart. One of our sponsors has generously offered to send these laminated charts to you free to serve as a guide. We'll give you information at the end of the show on how to request your own free copy. Most of the loss of muscle and flexibility we lose as we age is simply due to lack of use. But by performing simple exercises regularly, you can keep your muscles and joints healthy enough to keep doing the everyday activities that make life worth living. All you'll need for today's show is a sturdy chair, like a kitchen or dining room chair, a glass of water to sip on throughout the show. So get ready. We'll be back in just a moment to have some fun with functional fitness. There are some things that change your world for the good. The day we met Debbie, Dad's comfort keeper, was a true Independence Day for him. Finding someone who cares for Dad in amazing ways. Not just what she does for him, cooking, cleaning, and errands, but there's this bond, how they laugh and share memories. Knowing Comfort Keepers is there helping Dad live independently at home has made all the difference in both our worlds. Let Comfort Keepers bring comforting in-home care home to you. Store to Door really is there to help me. Store to Door has been helping seniors in the seven county metro area for 26 years. Our volunteers take your shopping list to Cub Foods, so the food we bring is just what you want. They're wonderful people. Everybody should look into it. Store to Door, we bring the groceries and peace of mind. Call 651 642 1892. That's 651 642 1892. Or visit storetodoor.org. When it's time to start looking at options for senior living, it can sometimes feel like an overwhelming task. Here are some helpful tips to consider. Know exactly what is and isn't included in your monthly rent. It should be conveniently located to doctors and local businesses. Be sure there are options for additional services that may be needed for future care. If you have any further questions about senior living, feel free to call Heritage Place of Roseville at 651-489-3293. Okay, are you ready to have some fun? I'd like to introduce to you Jerry and Gretha. They'll be demonstrating the exercises for us today. And none of the exercises we'll do are hard or tricky. The only challenge is doing them regularly. So to serve as a reminder for exercise, one of our sponsors, Comfort Keepers, has provided a lovely laminated exercise chart. I'm gonna be going through the exercises with you today, and at the end of the show, you can call in to request your own chart, so you'll have a visual reminder to keep you moving. We're gonna start with some seated exercises today. I'd like you to start with your feet flat on the floor, sitting up nice and tall, and that would be true for all of the sitting exercises, that you sit up nice and tall, like you have a long zipper holding you up straight. And we're gonna start with, the sh with shoulder shrugs. Starting out, we're going to do five fast and then two slow. Lifting the shoulders up and down. Up and down. Just warming up those muscles in your neck and shoulder area. Two more. Last one. And now we're going to lift it up and hold it. Continue breathing as you hold that motion. And then press down and hold briefly. And again, squeeze those shoulders up tight to your ears contracting all the muscles in your neck and shoulder. 
and then exhale pressing down. <sighs> Wonderful. Now I'd like you to try to keep those shoulders pressing down and gently lean your head to the right. Stretching the muscles of your neck and slowly roll your head forward. Pausing at any points of tension. If you feel stiffness in your neck, just pause and allow that muscle to stretch and relax. Bringing your head to the opposite side. And then again, down to the center. And slowly up to the right. And our last time, we're just going to roll across the center. Once more, breathing as you move. And then bringing your head over your heart and relax. Excellent. Now I'd like you to just simply reach your arms up. We're going to do this about eight times and just get our blood flowing. Reach up and exhale down. <sighs> Inhale up. Feeling that blood flowing through your body as you take nice deep breaths. For many of us, we breathe shallowly all throughout the day. And just simply taking some nice deep breaths can get your blood moving and give you a little bit more energy. All right, again, inhale, big reach up. Filling those lungs with air and release. And one more, reach up. Now I'd like you to bring your right hand down to your chair. Your left hand reaches up overhead and gently reach to the side, leaning and stretching through your waist, your hip, and even a little bit of your upper back. And slowly come back to the center. Release that hand, hand down and reach your other arm up. Big reach and gently to the side. Again, stretching through that hip, your shoulder, and reach up and relaxing that arm down. Wonderful. You can do those stretches anytime. They're really good at just reducing tension and just making you feel better and more energized. Now we're going to do what's called a seated forward fold. We're going to do it about five times and then we'll hold it at the end to turn it into a little more of a stretch. I'd like you to widen your feet a little bit so they're about chair width apart, maybe hip width apart, so you have a little room between your legs. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath and then exhale, bending from your hips. You're going to slowly lean forward and down, stretching the muscles in your low back. And then slowly sit up nice and tall. And feel free if you'd like to reach your arms overhead. And then slowly bringing those hands down and lowering that chest. And again, inhale up, reaching up feeling those muscles in your low back begin to loosen and get some warmth in them. And reach up. And last time, bringing it down, allowing that chest to melt down towards the floor. And inhale up. This time, when we come down, I'm going to invite you to just relax your arms down to the floor and let your head and your neck Relax and just lengthen towards the floor as well. So go ahead, bring your chest down towards your thigh. Go as far as you can and then just relax and hold. Nice deep breath. And allowing that head to just dangle. Now slowly walking those arms up your legs, supporting your body weight as you come up nice and tall. Excellent. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer already. And now we're going to do a rowing exercise. We're going to do about 10 of these a little fast to get our hearts going. And then we'll do two slow for more of a stretch. Bring your arms out in front of you. You're sitting nice and tall as always. Grab onto your, row, your paddles and pull back. And then forward. Pull back. And then forward. And as you do this, you're contracting through those muscles in your back. As you come forward, you're contracting the muscles in your chest, as well as those in your shoulders and arms. Forward and pull back. And as you come forward, you round out the back and then you sit up nice and tall, pushing the chest forward. And last one. Now bring those hands back, squeezing through the shoulder blades. And as you're holding this mo movement, you want to continue breathing. And exhale. Now bring those hands forward, kind of round out your shoulder blades, allow the shoulder blades to kind of fan out to the side, tucking your belly button in and rounding through that low back. Excellent, release those arms and sit up nice and tall again. 
All right, for our next exercise, we're gonna do some flexing and pointing of our toes. We often neglect and forget about from our knees down. Nobody seems to care about what goes on down there, but they're very critical muscles to keep us from shuffling as we age. Oftentimes falls are caused because people shuffle and they no longer push off and ball off of their toe. And oftentimes it's because these muscles are inflexible, they don't wanna push off and they're weaker. So we're gonna start out by keeping those muscles fle um, more flexible, lifting both feet up. So you want your, your, to be seated firmly on the chair. You're gonna flex, pull those toes towards your shin and then point. How are you doing there, Jerry? Doing good. Good, and you, Gretha? And we're flexing and pointing. We're going to do about eight of those just to get that muscle warmed up. And flex. You can do those at your own speed. You don't have to follow what, exactly how we're doing it. And a couple more. Beginning to warm up those muscles. All right. And now bringing your feet a little bit further apart, you're going to do a couple circles, just rounding your toes in a circle. And then circle the opposite direction. So slow down and circle the, the other way. All right. How are your singing voices? You guys feel like you're ready to sing a song? <laughs> I didn't tell them about this part. We are going to do the ABCs with our toes. Can you guys remember back to kindergarten? We're going to draw an A with our toe, just like our toe is a big marker or a pen. And then a B and a C. D. Okay, I don't hear anybody singing. <laughs> the reason for doing the ABCs is your ankle is a very, very movable joint. And to work that joint in all the different angles keeps the whole joint intact and stable as well as flexible. Okay, have you had enough ABCs? All right, you can relax them down and just shake your legs out a little bit. And again, I'd like you to sit back on your chair. The next exercise is called leg extensions. And this is gonna strengthen the muscles on the top of your thigh. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna do about 10 of them with our right leg and 10 with the left. Starting out with the right leg, just extend out and relax down, press out and down. And as you do that, think about tightening that muscle on your thigh, almost like you're giving your thigh bone a big bear hug squeezing that muscle tight and down. Exhale as you press and inhale as you relax. Excellent, two more please. And last one, let's hold it out for just a moment. Try to lift that leg off of the chair if you can so you're working the muscle in your hip flexor as well. And hold, you guys feel like you're shaking a little bit? I know I am, and that's okay. That just means that you're challenging your strength. All right, release it down. And let's switch to our left leg, extending the left leg out, and down, and extend, and down. Again, we're giving that thigh bone a big bear hug. Squeezing nice and tight, and release. Contract, and release. Exhale as you press and inhale down. Exhale and inhale, we're almost there, you can do it. Last one, let's bring it up and hold it. And again, trying to lift that leg a little bit off of the chair and squeezing that leg, that thigh bone. Holding nice and tight as you're continuing to breathe. So even though the muscle is being held, your breathing is always flowing freely. Release that leg down. Good, I hope your legs are warmed up at this point. The next exercise we're gonna do is called seated marching. We're gonna do about two minutes of that so that we can get your heart rate moving and your blood flowing. A little bit of a cardiovascular exercise. So I'd like you for this one just to slide a little bit more towards the edge of your chair. And as always, sitting up nice and tall and just slowly begin to lift one foot off the floor at a time. Lifting those legs. And you're just marching, choosing the pace that's right for you. If you haven't done this before, you can do it a little bit slower. And if you want a little bit more of a workout, you just do it a little faster. So we're just marching. Okay, so what song goes with this? The ants go marching one by one or something like that? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't sing an exercise at the same time, so we're stuck with just counting. All right, let's go a little bit faster. Challenge yourselves. 
can pretend we're running away from a dog. <laughs> You're marching quick. A little bit faster. Excellent. And then slow down a little bit. Keep them moving nice and good. Bring your feet apart a little bit. Just work in a little bit different angle. And then bringing it back into the center. A little bit faster. And then slow down. And you can release. Wonderful. So if you are not warmed up at this point, you're in way too good a shape. Thanks for joining us for that one. That was a good breathing exercise. Now we are going to do a torso twist and we are going to move on the exercise chart. The first side of the, the chart is all sitting exercises. The second is standing exercises. If you're not comfortable with standing, feel free to stay in your chair. However, anytime that you're standing and bearing your body's own weight, you're actually improving your bone density. So if you're able at all, I'd invite you to join us to stand. We're going to stand first right in front of our chairs and placing our hands on our hips. Our feet are about hip width apart and just loosening up a little bit to start. This exercise is called a torso twist. We are going to be working our midsection as well as stretching the muscles in our neck. So with the hands on the hips, we're going to take a nice deep breath, inhale and gently exhale as we turn our bodies to the right side and gazing over that back shoulder so you get a nice stretch through your neck as well. Back to the center and exhale and turn to the other side. Again, gazing over that back shoulder and center and to the right and center and left. People don't think about the fact that flexibility is incredibly important as we age. Let's repeat that at your own speed. My father actually had to quit driving at one point because he could no longer turn his neck enough to see when he was changing lanes. And he got in three accidents. It was a very sad time. Simply doing an exercise like this can allow you to do something as important as driving. And you don't think about that unless you can't do it anymore. And then it's almost too late. All right, excellent. Now we're going to step so that we're right in front of the chair, just about an inch or so between your knees and the chair. This next exercise is called a chair squat. We're going to do five or so of these, but if you're feeling really strong, we might bump them up a little bit more. And we're going to start by just placing our hands on our hips, or excuse me, on our thighs, and slowly slide back like you're going to sit down in the chair, but please keep your hips a couple inches off of the chair. And then stand up and sit down. If you feel comfortable, you can bring those arms out in front of you. If that feels too unsteady, feel free to keep them on your hips or your thighs. And slide back and up. And it may be as you first start these that you can only go down a couple inches. That is totally fine. We're all at different strength levels. So choose the level that's appropriate for you. Either starting up high or slowly bringing it down to wherever you feel you're able. The important thing is that you're challenging those muscles in your legs. And up again. And last one, I'm gonna have you bring it down and hold it a little longer. And again, we're holding the position, but we're breathing freely. We're not holding our breath. Bringing your hands into your heart. And inhale. And exhale. Are you shaking a little bit? If so, that's okay. Again, that just means you're challenging your strength and probably building some muscle. All right, inhale and stand up and release down. Excellent, shake yourself out a little bit. And now I'd like you to come around to the right side of your chair. <clears throat> we are gonna be doing an exercise called side lifts. This exercise is very important for strengthening the muscles of your hips. Most of what we do throughout the day is in a forward and backward motion. So the muscles on the sides of our body rarely get used. We're going to start by pointing the toe down. So you're lifting your right leg, just lifting out to the side. You're leading with your heel as you lift and using that chair for balance or support. We'll do five more of those. And this muscle, um, as it's 
not used very often, often becomes weak. And then you might slip on ice or just get caught off balance and it turns into a fall. Keeping these muscles strong is gonna keep you much safer from any type of fall. And two more. Wonderful, tightening that muscle as you lift. And now this time we're gonna bring it out and hold. Similar exercise, but this is just called a, a hip circle. You're gonna slowly circle your foot backwards and around. And you can start out with a small circle and either hold it there or as you feel comfortable or strong, you can make it into a much larger circle. Your hip joint is a ball and socket joint, so it can move in a very large range of motion. And the more of that range of motion that you exercise regularly, the more flexible and strong it will be. All right, and release that leg down. Excellent, and have it come over to the opposite side. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Starting with the left leg, you're supporting yourself with that chair. Lift the foot and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. And ideally with these, you can start with doing five to eight of them. And as you feel stronger, build up to 12 to 15 repetitions. All right, and moving on, we're gonna start with that little hip circle, rolling the foot back. Starting small and gaining a little momentum as you get st feel stronger and more stable. And release. Our last exercise, we're gonna come behind your chair. Using that chair for balance and support, you're gonna step back with your right leg. This is called a warrior lunge. You're stepping back, your hips are centered and you're looking forward. Your toe is turned out to the side for balance and support. Then you're gonna come together Nice and tall, step back with your left leg. Again, the toe is turned out, your weight is centered between those legs, and step together. And step back, we're gonna repeat these as many times as you possibly can. Step back, and together, and if you feel balanced, you can bring those arms out. I'm gonna invite you to continue doing these for a few minutes. We're gonna take a quick break and be right back with you to do some stretching exercises. So keep going, we'll see you in a minute. There are some things that change your world for the good. The day we met Debbie, Dad's comfort keeper, was a true Independence Day for him. Finding someone who cares for Dad in amazing ways. Not just what she does for him, cooking, cleaning, and errands, but there's this bond, how they laugh and share memories. Knowing Comfort Keepers is there helping Dad live independently at home has made all the difference in both our worlds. Let Comfort Keepers bring comforting in-home care home to you. Store to Door really is there to help me. Store to Door has been helping seniors in the seven county metro area for 26 years. Our volunteers take your shopping list to Cub Foods, so the food we bring is just what you want. They're wonderful people. Everybody should look into it. Store to Door. We bring the groceries and peace of mind. Call 651-642-1892. That's 651-642-1892. Or visit storetodoor.org. When it's time to start looking at options for senior living, it can sometimes feel like an overwhelming task. Here are some helpful tips to consider. Know exactly what is and isn't included in your monthly rent. It should be conveniently located to doctors and local businesses. Be sure there are options for additional services that may be needed for future care. If you have any further questions about senior living, feel free to call Heritage Place of Roseville at 651-489-3293. Okay, we're back. Let's do just a few stretching exercises to cool down. S start by stepping your right foot back, but this time both toes are pointing forward and pressing that heel into the floor and gently dropping your knee down until you feel a nice warm stretch in the back of your calf. Do you know people spend millions of dollars every year looking for that fountain of youth, but did you know the real fountain of youth is simply moving? Let's step together and step back your other foot. Again, the heel is down, pointing forward. Simply exercising two to three times a week can make a world of difference in your health and wellness. Stepping your legs together. And now we're gonna step both hips, your feet back. Your arms are on the back of the chair. Palms are just gently on the back. And you're gonna take a nice deep breath, sliding your tailbone back as you 
Glide your chest towards the floor. And coming up, nice deep breath again. Coming up on those toes. Slide back. And now you'll notice with Jerry, his back is nice and flat, his neck is relaxed, and he's pressing his chest down towards the floor, feeling a wonderful stretch all through his chest and lower back. Also thinking about tipping up your tailbone, feeling a good stretch all through the back of your legs. The one key to exercise is doing it regularly. I'd like you both to come up, take a nice deep breath, and then exhale, coming back down one last time. And to help you with staying regular in your exercise, again, I encourage you to call the number on your screen and request one of the exercise charts. So really, if you do one of these exercises during each commercial of your favorite program, by the end of the show, you'll have an entire workout in. So how about it? Are you willing to give up commercials for a stronger, healthier you? I'd like to thank Gretha and Jerry for joining me, and especially I'd like to thank you. We look forward to seeing you next time for Active Aging. There's some things that change your world for the good. The day we met Debbie, Dad's comfort keeper, was a true Independence Day for him. Finding someone who cares for Dad in amazing ways, not just what she does for him, cooking, cleaning, and errands, but there's this bond, how they laugh and share memories. Knowing Comfort Keepers is there helping Dad live independently at home has made all the difference in both our worlds. Let Comfort Keepers bring comforting in-home care home to you. Store to Door really is there to help me. Store to Door has been helping seniors in the seven county metro area for 26 years. Our volunteers take your shopping list to Cub Foods, so the food we bring is just what you want. They're wonderful people. Everybody should look into it. Store to door. We bring the groceries and peace of mind. Call 651-642-1892. That's 651-642-1892. Or visit storetodoor.org. When it's time to start looking at options for senior living, it can sometimes feel like an overwhelming task. Here are some helpful tips to consider. Know exactly what is and isn't included in your monthly rent. It should be conveniently located to doctors and local businesses. Be sure there are options for additional services that may be needed for future care. If you have any further questions about senior living, feel free to call Heritage Place of Roseville at 651-489-3293. When most people think of fitness, they think they need to go to a gym or pay for group exercise class. Well, I'm fitness instructor Kelly Lindell, and I invite you to exercise for free with me during my show, Active Aging. So set your clocks for 11.30 a.m. and join me right here on Metro Cable Network. Once you're all warmed up, you'll be prepped and ready to go for polka time.